it's been announced that a actor called Ralph Innocent, who isn't actually a decent actor who starred in roles such as being in Harry Potter, being in The Last Jedi, being in Game of Thrones, he is a decent actor. He's a British actor. He's also been in Sherlock, I believe. Um, he's going to be cast as Galactus in the upcoming Fantastic Four movie. Now, this article here is really just covering Ralph Ennison, talking about the casting decision from Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios. I want to talk about, though, something different from what this article is talking about. This is pulled up. I'll scroll through it periodically. You can pause the video to read it, read it if you want, or you can go to geeksandgamers.com and actually just read the article for yourself. A lot of good content on there. But... What I'm really doing is I'm talking about the ridiculous nature of the Fantastic Four's MCU debut, right? So this is a movie which is going to have the Fantastic Four, the first family of Marvel, by the way, Mr. Fantastic with the Invisible Woman, the Flaming Torch, no, the Human Torch, my bad, the Human Torch and the Thing. Characters that I've been in love with since I was a child, by the way. I watched the original cartoons for these characters. I saw the crappy Fox movies, which are actually some of the best, in life, which is actually the best live-action interpretation of these characters, and I believe will remain the best live-action interpretation of these characters once the MCU gets done with it, because they're going to trash everything, as they always do. Nevertheless, the story evidently is going to have Galactus and a female Silver Surfer at the helm as antagonistic forces, or at least forces that are going to introduce further antagonistic forces. I don't like that idea. Fantastic Four, as a movie series, should introduce the Fantastic Four into a world on a more ground level and build up over time to Galactus. And the, and the Silver Surfer, not the female Silver Surfer, the Silver Surfer with the Power Cosmic. To introduce Galactus this early into the MCU's version of the Fantastic Four is to completely negate all the other amazing stories that can be told regarding the characters of the Fantastic Four, the original family of Marvel, and to just jump straight towards the cosmic threat so they can have this big CGI action scene at the end. I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. There are a few ways that you can get away with this, but you have to do it carefully, and knowing Marvel, they're not going to do it carefully, okay? It's going to be a ham-fisted, poorly rendered attempt at creating a story that's going to introduce a character that's going to be resembling that character in name only, and the effects are probably going to look like trash, because that's what Marvel's been putting out recently, is unfinished movies that clearly are not giving the CGI and the special effects artists the time necessary to complete the amazing visual effects that we came to expect and came to love from previous films created. Now, what does this all mean, right? What this does mean is this means that there is a terrible, terrible, terrible attempt to destroy consistency and decent writing and decent characterization within Marvel. All in the name of specific ideologies and all in the name of specific ways of doing things, cutting corners and overbloating the budgets. And I mean, The Fall Guy, a movie that I actually really do enjoy, has a budget of $130 million in terms of production costs alone, which is absolutely insane and should not be the cost of that film. Now, it is a good movie. I highly recommend you go watch it, but that does not mean that there's not any bloated budget. There are too many bloated budgets in Hollywood movies and too crappy of materials being put out for me to believe that it's anything other than a laundering, screen, a laundering uh, scheme at this point in time. It's gotten so insane, and the books are being shuffled around so much that it has to be something other than an attempt to actually make money because they're just driving off fans and destroying their product. It's gotten too out of hand. We get casting rumors and movie announcements so that the actual individuals who are supporting these things, aka the financiers, the stockholders, the shareholders, can be pleased with the fact that we have something in the works. But at the end of the day, nothing is actually being put in the works. It's just an attempt to destroy beloved characters which have fallen from grace in both comics and in movies.
Every medium in which these characters once existed has been destroyed and tainted with horrible storytelling. And it's because of that that they're no longer able to make the money that they used to make. There used to be a time where you would have Spider-Man comics on the shelf for a day and they would be sold out because people love buying those Spider-Man comics. And now you'd be hard pressed to find a shop that had anything off the shelves unless it's manga. It's a mockery to what once was. And I really hope that these up and coming comic book artists and creators like Eric July with the Ripaverse and a couple of other individual comic book creators who are creating indie comics create a new age, including myself, who's working on a comic called Invincible Ed, create a new age of comics and a new age of the media enterprise where people can have their own independently owned created creations put forth so that people can enjoy them instead of having to rely on two big media companies that ultimately spit in the face of the customers because they don't value the people who get them more to the point that they are today anyways Fantastic Four movie is going to be trash. I am 100% certain of that because from every piece of evidence that has been put forth from Marvel, they are not slowing down their attempt to destroy everything that was good in comic books and in comic book media. It's just gotten worse. And it's going to get worse. That's how things go. It's the law of entropy. All right. Share this video out there. Subscribe. Like. Hit the notification bell. I love you guys. I'm really happy that you guys are still watching my videos. If if I can do anything, please let me know what you want me to do to improve something in my video that I can actually do. You know, I don't have any editing skills. I don't know how to do anything on the computer except for push record and go. So if you have any video recommendations or ideas, things that you want to see me cover, go ahead and let me know. I love taking suggestions. I'm going to be coming out with some videos regarding art and progression over time. So there's that. But nevertheless, I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.